TypeScript 5.3 released today, bringing a bunch of new exciting features. We have import attributes, we have improvements to switch true, and we have interactive inlay hints. And before we go any further, we should really acknowledge that each of these are tiny little incremental improvements. There is nothing too groundbreaking here. And so, really, are you going to have a bad migration here? What migration? TypeScript 5.3 should be an easy upgrade for anyone moving to the new version. Let's start by talking about import attributes. Import attributes are a JavaScript feature that TypeScript now happens to support. Everything that we're talking about here is available in pure JavaScript. Let's say that you wanted to import an image from image.png. It's quite hard to know what you're going to get from this import because depending on the environment you're in, it could be different. Let's say that sometimes you want your image to be a buffer, but other times you want to import a URL to a static resource. In various bundlers, you can do things like adding query parameters to the import, where you basically say this one is a buffer and this one is a URL. Import attributes give you a proper way of doing this. By using the with keyword, we can say with type buffer, and we can get autocomplete and type errors on these objects. This means that the bundler is then free to resolve these however they like. And that, in a nutshell, is import attributes in TypeScript. Next, let's talk about switch true narrowing. In TypeScript 5.3, they've improved the way that switch true narrows. Let's take a look at an example. Here, my func takes an input of unknown, which could be anything. Inside our function, we're going to say if type of input is string or number, then we return it. Let's add an else if to check if it's an object. And if it is, let's return that. We've got two branches here. The first is if it's a string or number, then return. Otherwise, if it's an object, then we're going to return that. This works because we're checking if input is an object and we're checking that it's not null. You've probably written code like this many times throughout your career, but did you know you can use a switch true to structure it differently? Inside a switch true, you can say if type of input is string or if type of input is number, then return it. We can add another case here to do our object checks too, and we get the same behavior. If we have input string or number, we return it. And if we get input is object, then we return it too. If we compare this syntax with the if statement, you'll see that they're very similar. Our type of checks basically stay on the same line as we switch between them. And so you can use the switch true as an alternative to this if statement. So the switch true has been a very common pattern in TypeScript, but until TypeScript 5.3, TypeScript didn't know how to interpret it. In both of these return statements, it wouldn't narrow it down to its actual object or string or number. So you would end up just having a function which took in unknown and returned unknown. But now, thanks to the efforts of my old colleague, Mateusz, it now just works in TypeScript. And so switch true just got a whole lot more attractive to use. The last thing I want to talk about is interactive inlay hints. Inlay hints give you extra information that pops up when you work with TypeScript in VS Code. You can enable them in your VS Code settings on parameter names and also on variable types, as well as a few others. In TypeScript 5.3, they've made these hints interactive, so you can actually command click on them and hover over to see what they are and even go to definition on them. This makes the TypeScript experience in VS Code even richer. There are some other small improvements that have been made to TypeScript, including performance optimizations, including making the whole thing in your node modules a little bit smaller. And overall, 5.3 is a no-brainer incremental upgrade. You get import attributes, you get better narrowing, and you get this inlay hint stuff if that's something you use. We didn't get everything we wanted in this release. I'm looking forward to seeing more stuff come out in the 5.4 iteration plan, which should be dropping any day now. And I'll be back with a video then previewing 5.4. This week for Black Friday, my total TypeScript course is on Saturday sale at 20% off. You should go there, check it out, see if you want to splurge your education budget on it. And I've been Matt Pocock. There'll be another video sort of hanging around around here. I haven't posted for a while, so it really is nice to be back. I've been working on a book that should be coming out sometime next year, and I'll keep you updated all about that. But I will see you very soon.